So, hi! Good morning, guys. So, maulan. And, hindi tayo makakapag kasi Kaya naman, naisip ko na gawa na lang kayo ng video. At least, you can play it or replay, rather. Kung meron kayong mga hindi naintindihan. So, our lesson is all about Filipino authors. These authors are famous. And, malaki ang naiambag nila sa Filipino literature. It's just so happened na the exam will be including these authors. So, kailangan nating i-discuss. Because I don't want to you guys uh, I don't want you to fail the exam. So, hopefully or kung meron mang uh, hopefully maging malinaw at maging maganda tong gagawin ko. But then, if ever meron mga tanong, you can just um, chat chat me. So, later, magkakaroon din tayo ng group discussion sa chat box para dun sa iba pang uh, readings or yung texts na sinend ko sa inyo. Okay? So, let's start. First Filipino author. I have here Severino Reyes. So, yan. So, sino si Severino Reyes? He's also known as Lola Bashang. I'm pretty sure familiar kayo sa kwentuhan ni uh, mga kwento ni Lola Bashang. So Lola Bashang is actually um, a comic series dahil nung araw, 'di ba? Mahilig sa comics ang mga Filipino. So in comics may mga drawings 'yon. No? Anyway, and this was pub first what do you call this? Yung first rendition niya, or ni-republish, ng 1985. So, Severino Reyes is a playwright. Ibig sabihin, um, nagsusulat siya ng scripts for the plays. Parang si Jose, ano, Shakespeare, sorry. Parang si Shakespeare. So, balik tayo kay Lola Bashang. So, Lola Bashang is actually a real person. So, Gervasia Zamora was her name. And one of the famous stories of Lola Bashang is ang kapatid ng Tatlong Maria. So, meron Tatlong Maria. Ang nangyari dito, itong kwento na ito, is all about a miraculous tree. Yung puno na yon ang tawag sa kanya ay Coles Meloco. So, lahat ng gamot, uh, lahat ng sakit na gagamot ng dahon ng kules miloko. Pero, maraming taong naging abusado, no? Ang ginawa nila, kuha sila ng kuha, putol sila ng putol doon sa puno. So, nainis yung tatay nila, Maria, may tatlong Maria. And then, ang ginawa ng tatay nila, pinutol yung puno. Yung pala, sa loob ng puno, may, merong isang malaki, malaking serpent or malaking ahas. And then, kinain yung tatlong Maria. Then, nung pagkakain niya sa tatlong Maria, no, sa loob niya, wait, there's more, <laughs> may tatlo palang hari. Yung tatlong hari na yon, pagkakain ng serpent dun sa tatlong Maria, pinakasal sila dun sa tatlong hari. At nagproduce sila ng isang uh, offspring. At yun yung uh, kapatid nilang lumabas. Tinawag siyang kapatid ng Tatlong Maria, isang lalaki. So, yun. Para, para saan ba yung mga kwento ni Lola Basang? So, yung kwento ni Lola Basang nung araw, ay para mapigilan yung mga bata. So, technically, para takutin sila na luma wag lumabas. So, yun. Ang kwento na yung Lola Basang. So, si Gervasia Zamora ay isang tao, family friend ni Severino Reyes. So, kapag pupunta siya doon or mag-visit siya kay uh, 
Lola Zamo, ah, Lola Gervasia or the Zamora family. Na-amaze siya kasi yung mga bata. Laging nagkukumpol kay Lola Basia. Ayun, at nagkakwento si Lola Basia. So, yun ang um, Lola Basia. So, inadapt niya yung pangalan na yun. Okay, nagkakaintindihan. So, next. He's actually um, accused of being associated with the Katiponeros. Which later on, no, pinakulong siya. Pero pinalaya din kasi wala namang sapat na ebidensya na kabilang nga siya dun sa Katipunero. So, he was then freed. So, ito guys, ipopost ko to dito. But then, uh, mamaya, pipicturean ko siya as a whole para maging reviewer niya din. O, oh, diba bongga? In an instant, naging vlogger ako sa inyo. Because I want you to pass. Okay, I want you to pass, guys. Next would be Virgilio Almario. Alam nyo, itong taong to ay buhay pa. <laughs> yeah, Virgilio Almario. I know he's still alive. Am I right? I know he's still alive. Eh. Parang, ano pa nga yata siya ngayon, chair ng Commission on Arts in blah blah. Okay. So, Virgilio Almario is known as Rio Alma. So, saan kaya galing ang Rio Alma? Yes. Galing din sa kanyang apelido na Almario. So, he reinvented or transformed Filipino homes. And then, he believes that the language use of Filipinos has yet to improve. So, sabi niya, kailangan pang improve ang language nating mga Pilipinos. Yung language use. ba diba we discussed that? Uh, dun sa tag ito? Diary ni Inday. And then the other one. Yung kay Matthew Sutherland. So, there you go. Virgilio Almario. Next would be ni Joaquin. Kilala nyo si ni Joaquin? Na personally, I've read few of his works like Piña Colada. Um, Summer Solstice. And The Monster in the Mirror. Like that. So, si ni Joaquin sa galing niya mag-critic. No? He's actually um, also a historian and a journalist. Sa galing niyang mag yung technique na tinatawa, ay tinawag or kinoin age na Wakinesque. Wakinesque. So, yan ang binansag sa kanya ng mga kasabay niyang riders dahil dun sa kakaibang strategy or say for, yeah, technique niya sa pagkikritik. So, ano yung kinritik niya? The Spain's influence in the Philippines. Okay. Alam naman natin na ang Spain, sa tagal ng kanilang um, pananakop sa Philippines, marami silang naging influence sa atin. No? Including the language. Okay. Next. Cirilo Bautista. So, who is Cirilo Bautista? He's a national artist in literature in 2014. And he's also a teacher. And sample work. Third world geography. Siguro naman alam nyo na kung ano yung third world. Diba? Kasama tayo dyan. Kasama ang Philippines. During his time. But now, it's... What do you call this? We're now a developing country. And then hopefully, maging maganda ang resulta. Okay. Next would be NVM Gonzalez. So, sino si NVM? Ang complete name niya ay Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez. So, he's a national artist of literature in 
1997. So he's known for writing short stories and also essays. So he's the person who appropriated English language in Philippine literature. So, noong una kasi, ang ginagamit ng mga manunulat na, lang, na language in writing is either Spanish or um, Tagalog, Filipino. So, sabi niya NBM, we should be improving at bakit hindi natin gamitin ang English language sa pagsusulat? Yan. So, sa kanya nagsimula ang um, Philippine literature in English. Yes. So, Amado V. Hernandez. So, personally, he's my favorite. <laughs> so, Amado V. Hernandez, he's known for social uh, writing. Known for writing social injustices in the Philippines. So, malaki ang kanyang naiambag dahil minulat niya yung mga Pilipino pagdating sa pangaabuso. No, pangaabuso ng ibang lahi, pangaabuso ng yeah, kapwa ding Pilipino. And the con, sabi niya, um, writings niya, it what? It includes conscience of society, human spirit, in facing inequity and oppression. So, kita nyo, pang aape. Ano kalagay? So, famous work, Luha ng Buhaya. Nabasa ko to, way back in high school. So, Luha ng Buhaya, para siya yung typical um, teleserye. Actually, it's a, it's a novel with uh, 50 plus chapters. So, it's all about uh, a poor family who's being oppressed by a rich family. So, yun. Pag sinabi ng luha ng buhaya is mapagkunwa rin mga tao. Kasi doon sa kwento na yun, doon sa novel na yun, itong pamilya nito, ang press release nila ay mat matulungin sila sa kapwa sila ay mawain, pero ang totoo ay hindi. Okay? So, if you have time, read that, Luwa ng Buwaya. Meron naman kayong makikitang summaries sa Google. Maganda, maganda ang Luwa ng Buwaya. Okay. So, wala na tayong scotch tape. This is so great. Isa na akong vlogger. There you go. So, I hope you guys are still with me. Sana nakikinig pa kayo. Kaya natin to. At good luck sa exam ninyo. Galingan ninyo. So, the exam would be all about the authors at saka yung binigay ko sa inyong reading texts. So, basahin ninyo yun. So, ulitin ko mamaya. Mamaya sigurong hapon. Say, 6 p.m. Or 7. Ah, no, yeah. 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Magkakaroon tayo ng online discussion. Para dun sa apat na sinin kong uh, reading text. Okay? So, going back. Meron na akong scotch tape. Anyway, Shonil Jose. Si Shonil Jose ay buhay pa. I personally visited his library sa my, uh, ah, bookstore. Sorry. His bookstore sa Ermita. O, oh, sa likod ng Robinsons. Matanda na to si Shonil Jose. And, <coughs> I know, recently, meron siyang interview about his views. Yeah, about Duterte. However, wala pa akong time para makinig dun or manood, pan panoorin yung video. But one time, I will and I'll, I'll let you know kung anong sinabi niya. 
So, si Shoni Lose, he's known for writing uh, novels, essays, short stories. And then, it includes or it talks about social underpinnings of class struggles and colonialism in Filipino society. So, kung makikita ninyo, no, may pattern yung writers natin about the class struggles and colonialism. So, yan ang kanilang team. Next, Lazaro Francisco. So, Lazaro Francisco was hailed as the national artist in 2009. And, saan naman siya kilala? He's known for writing about social realist tradition in Philippine fiction. So, in-expose niya ang exploitation ng mga magsasaka. Okay. Or, are you familiar with feudalism? So, ano ba yung feudalism? Yung feudalism, guys, yan yung bawa ako. May ari ako ng lupa. And then, gusto ninyong um, tumira do sa lupa. No? Ang gagawin ko, in exchange, would be, you would be working for me. Yes. Pero, walang guarantee na mapupunta sa inyo yung lupa. Pero kayo magpapayama ng lupa. So, sistemang feudalism or feudalismo. Uh, during the early times, alam ko, ito sistemang feudal, it started in Japan. Yes. Next, we have Carlos Romulo. So, kilala niyo ba si Carlos Romulo? Yes, exactly. He was the former president of the Philippines. And he's also a writer. And then, he, spo he spent most of his life as a diplomat. And he lived in the U.S. for quite some time. But he wrote more on patriotism. Okay, patriotism. Pagmamahal sa bayan. Kahit nasa malayong bansa siya. The next, I have here, Alejandro, Alejandro Roses. Si Alejandro Roses, he's an essayist. Yeah. Also, he made comics, short stories. And then he wrote about neglected aspects of cultural heritage. Filipino cultural heritage to ah. Yes, yeah, so ibinalik niya yung um, local fiestas sa pamamagitan ng pagsusulat. So sabi niya, nakakalimutan na natin yung ating cultural heritage. So, sobrang pag-akap natin sa idealism or idealismo ng mga dayuhan. And next, second to the last, would be Carlos Quirino. So, who is Carlos Quirino? He's a national artist for historical literature in 1987. And he wrote about earliest biographies of Rizal. Okay. So, I hope you guys are absorbing lahat ng sinasabi ko. So, lastly, we have Edith Tiempo. Nagisa siyang babae, no? Sayang wala si Paz Benitez. Dead stars. <laughs> and I know, guys, you know her already. Kasi di ba na-discuss natin yon. So, Edith L. Tiempo, Carlos Palanca Awardee. And she wrote Philippine Literature in English. Okay. So, sinundan niya ang yapak ni... Uh, NVM Gonzalez. And uh, she was described as very distinct, very descriptive when it comes to writing. 
Yes, in in fact, meron siyang sinulat na bonsai. Ang title, it's a poem. Kaya naman, yeah, itong bonsai na to, actually guys, kung babasahin yung bonsai, hindi na banggit ang bonsai sa poem. Yes. But that poem or this poem is is ah uh, an uh, an explanation of how it feels to be to love and to be loved. So para siyang bonsai na kailangan mong i-shape, kailangan mong i-nurture. Okay? So yun ang bonsai poem. So last She's considered as the first lady of poetry in English. Okay. So, ito na. Tapos na tayo. Uh, sana may maisagot ko sa exam. And I hope you guys I hope you learned. So, mamaya chat na lang tayo for the um, discussion of those four reading articles. So, may message ko na lang si Vandal for for you to, to come online. Okay? So, have a great day and I hope you learned. And if you have questions, you can just PM. PM me. Okay? So, have a good day. Bye.